my day with vegan waffles again and watching Stephanie Harlow. Great morning. Great day six of Vlogmas. I'm sitting here editing Vlogmas day five. Clearly I'm behind track because this should have been up last night, but like I said yesterday or whatever day that was, um, I'm pretty terrible at Vlogmas and it's getting really hard, so. I do have things to do today though, so I will bring you guys around with me to do those things. As you can see, I'm exhausted. I'm literally just exhausted <laughs> and yeah, I need to find a hobby and I need to hang out with a friend or something because I'm just bored. Does anyone else just like cuddle with their cats all day? Cause me. Like how could you not love him? It's finally in the car. Um, I got in the car and the low tire pressure lights on. So I'm heading to do that right now. And then I'm gonna go drop off some packages at the post office. And then I'm gonna go to a crystal shop to get a present for my grandpa. So yeah, that's the sequence of events right now. I really want coffee, but I really don't have coffee money, and that's kind of how my life is right now. I'm living off of water, okay? I might come home and brew coffee, but I like iced coffee, so it's like I have to wait a couple hours for it to get cold, and like my life sucks, so yeah. The name of the crystal shop is called Earth, Wind, Fire, and Ice, and yeah. a pretty day out all right guys so I just left the crystal shop I got my grandpa this really cool um sculpture of like teeth made by a local artist and I thought it was perfect for him because he actually makes teeth for a living so he's been doing it since he was really young he makes like dentures and just fake teeth in general and he's really good at what he does so I think oh and he's a really big fan of art and sculptures and my great-grandpa his father was actually a famous artist. His name was Tom Bostell. Um, so yeah, I think he will really enjoy the gift. I was really happy I was able to find something in the crystal realm for him because um, that, that was my theme for everybody's gift. So yeah, I'm so excited for Christmas. I like love giving people stuff <laughs> and like giving my friends stuff. It's just like, I don't know, I just love it. So yeah. Um, now I'm just going to make a few more pit stops during my day and I'll see you guys later. I'm back at TJ Maxx again just to get, an, I have to get a bigger gift bag now because my grandpa's gift is kind of big. And uh, what else am I getting? I don't know, I might go to Michael's and get my friend something. Um, yeah. Hi, I miss you. Now that I'm home, I will quickly show you guys what I got. So this is what I got for my grandpa. Um, I know it's kind of weird, but he likes stuff like this. Just like weird sculptures. And like I said, he makes teeth for a living. So I thought that this design just worked the best. And it's made by a local artist and everything. So I think that's really cool too. Next, I just got this um, cleaning brush for dishes for Sean. Because he washes the dishes and he keeps saying he wants like a better one. So this one's like really rough and I think I like it. I also got him this. Um, I'm gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna put that in a stocking. This year we're only really doing stockings, but I also got this. Obviously this is not gonna go in the stocking, but it was only five bucks, so it doesn't really matter. Um, it's a Family Feud like card game and we love Family Feud and Steve Harvey. So I just thought that was pretty funny. And then I got this um, Christmas bag because this will not fit in the little Christmas bags that I got for everyone else, so I think that'll be perfect. I'm also thinking of getting him a picture frame 
with my senior photo in it because I don't think he has one. And then here are some peanut butter chip cups that I got for myself. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try this right now because I'm so hungry. <gasps> These are so cute, look at that. They're like individually wrapped. Now I love it. Now I might have to go buy more <laughs> if it tastes good. Oh my God, kosher. They're made from cacao, they are gluten free. They're not vegan or anything, so let's just try one because this is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. And then, so these are supposed to be all natural. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. I love peanut butter or anything. It definitely tastes like um, the Justin's peanut butter cups. But those are vegan, so if you're going to eat them, you should at least eat those. These are just a little sweeter. Hey guys, so it is nighttime right now, and I just got out of the shower. I had like two showers today. I don't know why. just felt like it. But, so I'm going to be telling you guys a little bit about my skincare routine right now. So, I know I don't have clear skin. I actually still have acne. But, right now, I'm going to show you guys a picture of what my skin used to look like. And if you've been following me for a while, um, you already know this. But, here's a picture of what my skin used to look like. And this is what my skin looks like now. And I give it all to a little thing called acne.org. Not sponsored. They don't know who I am. I actually came across this on YouTube. And I fell in love with it ever since. My cleanser, I already used when I was in the shower. But once I get out of the shower... I take the treatment and this is benzoyl peroxide 2.5% <laughs> and what I do is I take like one third of a fingertip and the deeper you get into the system the more you use but I just recently started using it again and you just really lightly spread it upon your skin <laughs> and there is a whole like regimen for acne.org that you're supposed to follow like really closely. Once that's kind of dried in, then I just move on to the moisturizer. You can also get this jojoba oil on the Acne Org website. And I like to mix this in with my moisturizer. Sometimes if I'm feeling like extra dry, like today I will. So I just put like a squirt of that, of the moisturizer. And then I add a couple of drops of the jojoba oil. And the thing with your skin is you do not want to use a lot of product, like, at all. You're just going to be really gentle with it. And, um, not a lot of products. That's, like, where things go wrong. I'm breaking out terribly right now. Um, actually way more than usual. And I have, like, chest acne right now. Like, I don't really know what's going on. I mean, I do have my period. And I've been eating a lot of, like, really crap food. And I know it has a lot to do with that, but... Okay. Also, I just wanted to mention for exfoliant you do not want to use an exfoliator with beads in it just don't do it I have this Dermalogica daily microfoliant and what microfoliant is it is like a really thin powder that when you mix it with a little bit of water it turns into like a like an exfoliant and it's way better for your skin than beaded exfoliants okay I highly recommend this um, I love it and I don't use it every day. I use it probably just when I'm doing my makeup or whatever. So I'm going to go in with the Mario Badescu Mario Badescu <laughs> um, spray. I have the rose water one, but I like the green one better. It's aloe, cucumber, and green tea. Just for like extra moisturizing factors or whatever. <laughs> that kind of smells like baby powder. I'm just going to quickly show you guys my favorite masks personally. So one mask that I love is the Olay Glow Boost White Charcoal Mask. It's like a stick. Pretty much, you literally just like put it on your skin and I love that. And I like the white charcoal one. I have the black charcoal one too, but I haven't tried that yet because that just freaks me out with skin like mine. Like really dry and... No. Another one of my favorites is the Yes to Cucumbers Clear Skin Detoxifying Charcoal Paper Mask. I love this. I've used it for forever. Specifically the sheet mask. Um, I think I have the the clay mask, but I really like the sheet mask. And then everyone in the world knows about this, the Freeman Pore Clearing Volcanic Ash Mask for men. <laughs> Literally, I love this stuff. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay guys, so that's that. That's my skincare routine. Um, as you can notice, I keep it very minimal. I don't do a lot to my skin. Um, 
And when I do my makeup, I take it off with the Sephora Rose Water Removers, I want to say. It's something like that. I just use them because they smell really good, honestly. I don't even know if it breaks me out or not. It probably does, but yeah.